Hi, I'm Kiran Rudramani, Senior Staff Engineer with Qualcomm Innovation Center. In this tutorial, you will learn how to export and toggle the GPIO pins on the Dragonboard 410C, which features the Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 processor, also known as APQ8016. Let's get started. You need to make sure ADB is configured on your host machine. I'm using Windows 7 machine and have booted Android on Dragonboard 410C. A micro USB cable is connected between my Dragonboard 410C and my PC. If I open the device manager, you see that Android phone for ADB is enumerated. On the DOS prompt, I can type ADB devices to see the device ID listed. Then I can type ADB root and ADB remount before getting into the Dragonboard 410C shell by using the command ADB shell. Once you're in the shell, you need to mount debugfs file system. Generally by default, it will be mounted. If not, you can use the command mount minus T debugfs none slash sys kernel debug. If you see this message device or resource busy, it means it's already mounted. Now change the directory to sys class GPIO. Here's a snapshot of the J8 connector on Dragonboard 410C. Here you see ls underscore exp underscore gpio signals on both sides of the connector. Many of these are free gpios by default, although one can change with modifications to the kernel. Let's experiment with apq gpio number 36, which is pin number 23 on the J8 connector. In order to export the GPIO, you need to add an offset value of 902. This is because the GPIO library for Dragonboard 410C dynamically allocates an offset of 902. You can export the GPIO using the command echo 938 for GPIO 36 export. If you use the command ls to list, you will see that GPIO 938 is exported. Now CD2 GPIO 938. This lists the attributes of the GPIO pin. Some of these are read write attributes direction value edge active underscore low the values for these can be edited let's connect an led to j8 connector the positive end to pin number 23 and ground to pin number one on the adb shell prompt you need to type su to get into super user mode then you can set the direction of the gpio pin as out by typing the command echo out direction now you can turn on the led by typing the command echo one two value. You see that the LED is glowing on the low speed expansion connector on Dragonboard 410C. You can turn off the LED by typing the command echo 0 to value. You can use the same mechanism to drive other components as well. Once you are done, you can unexport this GPIO you need to do that from sys class g 
cheap value. Call 938 and export. If you list now, you see that GPIO 938 is an exported. You can follow the same process to experiment with other APQ GPIOs. Make sure that you are using the offset value of 902 when you export those GPIOs. Thank you for taking this tutorial. Please visit Qualcomm Developer Network to learn more about Snapdragon Dragonboard 410C.